a wonderful good morning everyone it is thursday so a few days after i filmed the last part of my last garden video and i already have some changes in my garden and i wanted to show you the first one is actually in my herb garden that is oh you can you could already see it oh no i spoiled it um it's a sunflower <laughs> this is my herb garden that i didn't show you yet because it's pretty sad maybe when it's a little bit fuller and more beautiful i will show it to you but at the moment there is not much to see except for this beautiful little sunflower it's so gorgeous and actually in the corner that i can also show you i planted some like bee insect friendly flowers and they are blooming now and i think it looks really nice let me show you Upstairs in the garden, pumpkin still going strong, uh, still dark, and we will be whew, we will be harvesting it in just a couple of days. And actually, if you look behind me here, is where the pumpkin plant came from originally. I showed this, I think, in one of the other videos, if I'm not mistaken. And now, if you look, the original pumpkin plant is pretty much dead. I think it developed some roots up there because it's so massive. But the lemon cucumber is coming over the wall just like I planned and I'm super happy. It looks so beautiful the way it just like comes over the wall here. Last time I couldn't show you the purple flowers. Now you see it a bit better. That's the purple flowers of the Chicoria salad. Look, it's so gorgeous. It's also just been a few days and this one is now way taller than me. Uh, last time it was like 175, now it's for sure 190 at least. So they are growing like crazy and the other two are also growing like hell. But what I wanted to show you was actually the other side of the lemon cucumber because the fruits that I showed you just a few days ago are now so much bigger. Again, the absolute crazy plant. And look. The fruits, and I need to prune some of the leaves because they're getting moldy. Uh, I don't know if you can see, they're getting moldy. I need to cut them. Uh, and I need to try and get rid of the weeds, but the leaves are actually really spiky, so. Um, and there is the other one in the back that you also saw in my last video when it was still tiny. So this one is now going really, really crazy and well. From this zucchini plant this morning I harvested a zucchini that was over one kilo heavy. Uh, and it looks amazing. I'm very excited. The zucchini plants over here are really, really going well. Uh, the yellow ones, well, it's just been a few days. We still have the same problem as before, but uh, yeah, it's uh, the zucchinis are going more or less well and the eggplants, the striped eggplants, I think maybe, maybe my favorite plants in the garden this year because they're just so beautiful. And one last update for today, because I need to prune and bind those tomatoes over there. Uh, the last update is that the cucumbers that are up here, where the leek and the celery are, are going crazy as well. So I think we're gonna have a lot of cucumbers, which I hope people here like cucumbers, because I don't like cucumbers. I planted, I think, one, two, three, four, fi five plants. Uh, of cucumbers for my partner because he likes cucumbers but now the plants are producing like crazy and not one single human can eat that amount of cucumbers okay i'm off to take care of the tomatoes because 
the net is like not supporting the weight anymore so we need to do our best to to support the net and to support the plants and that's what I'm gonna do and I will see you probably in a few days with some more garden updates have a great day good morning good morning can you hear this silence except for birds and chickens <laughs> it is saturday morning 7 a.m i love this time because literally everybody is asleep uh, and it's so quiet and beautiful the mountain is completely clear um i will show you in just a second and he's in the morning light so it's absolutely beautiful and I took you out here um, because I'm gonna do my morning harvest. I do a harvest in the morning and then I do a harvest in the night as well um, every day. And uh, I will take you along. I will not say much during this harvest because it's still the morning. I, I just woke up so I'm tired. I'm still in my morning voice. I don't feel like talking. And of course, it's, I want to enjoy the silence. And when I'm talking, it's not silent. <laughs> um, there's not much to say to the harvest, except that one of the zucchinis that is ripe, I will leave because we want to keep it for seeds. I know it's very early in the season to do that, but uh, we decided because we cannot eat that many zucchinis at the moment. We have so many. Um, and that we harvest uh, cherry tomatoes early. We harvest them when they're still orange, not when they're bright red, because we have problems with animals eating them if we let them stay too long. Maybe there is even one that's half eaten, then I can show you how it looks like. Uh, what happens if we leave them on just a few hours too long? Uh, that's why we have to harvest them when they're orange and we put them in an egg box in front of the house and let them uh, ripe there to full fruition. <laughs> And yeah, I think I think that's it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the harvest. Oh, there's a car. Good morning. Um, I'm gonna show you the mountain. I'm gonna show you the harvest, and then I'm gonna take care of some weeds up here. Hello, it is Tuesday, it is the 3rd of August, the day after my birthday. I had a very quiet, uh, lovely birthday yesterday, by far not one of my best birthdays ever. A lot of things went wrong um, and there was nothing like super special about it. But I took some time off in the afternoon and I went to the ocean and it was really nice. 
and I was just very grateful for the people that I do have in my life, for the people that thought of me, uh, and for my partner who made me a cake, and for the people I spent the evening with. Um, we just met for a few drinks and a uh, little bit of chit chat, and seeing the sunset on the terrace over the over the ocean. It was really nice. Um, Today, however, <laughs> I'm not in a good mood at all and that is why I decided to come into the garden and sit a little bit with the plants because I have come to find that that indeed does help me with my moods. Let's see if today will be the same because I'm looking at the barbecue place right now and I'm already getting <laughs> angry, but as I said, I'm, I'm not in a good mood today, I'm not in a good place. Anyway, the barbecue place just makes me mad because um, uh, our house that we are renting uh, was a holiday home or is designed to be a holiday home. It was never designed for long-term rental. Um, the same goes for the apartment that is uh, under us where also somebody is now living long term a wonderful neighbor that we love dearly but attached to our house like literally only separated by a little wood door um, there are like tourist apartments like it's not full-on apartments it's like rooms and they share a kitchen and a living room together and we had a few tourists and it's been all right like we don't care that much but uh, since a few days there have been like two families in there with I think like three or four kids. They have been like taken over the place from the second they arrived. I'm not even joking, I'm not even exaggerating. Like they arrived, they didn't even unload their luggage from the car and they already like ran into the garden and acted like they owned the place. And I don't like tourists that are like that <laughs> at all. I do understand it's your vacation and especially for kids. Of course you want to run around and explore, you know. But like there have been like some incidents with them where we have gotten a little bit pissed off. Like the kids have been ripping out some of the sticks from our tomatoes and uh, they used up our entire barbecue coal without even asking, even though they see that we live here. Like it's not like they weren't aware that we are here. They've seen us, they've seen us work in the garden. They see we live here long term, but they didn't even ask. They just like used up everything. <laughs> we had a lot of coal from us and our downstairs neighbor. There was a lot of coal under the barbecue. Everything is gone and the barbecue looks like a mess. Everything is full of beer bottles. They used our garden bucket as a, ca um, as a, as a trash can. And now that I've put that away, they have now taken a flower pot to use it as their fucking garbage can. And people like that just make me so mad. <laughs> Editing Tasman here. I'm just gonna stop myself here because this is a full-on rant that even like goes on on that point And I was very hesitant to even put that in this video because I don't think it's fair to those people because I don't know them like they're strangers and uh, Yeah, I think some of them are also locals. I don't know We we chatted a little bit with them because they stayed for a long time. Actually, they're still next door <laughs> while I'm recording this and they seem to be super nice people and I just wanted to clarify that I filmed this rant on a day where I was just in an absolutely bad terrible mood and therefore something like a messy barbecue place just threw me off um, but yeah they seem to be super nice people but they're still strangers to me so I shouldn't judge them but so far they haven't cleaned up the barbecue place, so take from that what you will. Let's move on with the garden, shall we? It's very hot still. Uh, there was only one rainy day uh, on Sunday and everything is like drying out and uh, we need to take good care of things and we need to water a lot and all the time. Um, we hope that that's enough because the days are really, really hot. Like you can see I'm wearing nothing but a bikini because it's just so warm. And look who showed up just to brighten up my mood. Come on, focus on that white area. There, look, he is, I, I still have problems pointing at things, apparently, but there he is. Look at those, look how pretty. Oh my God, they're so red, I, I want to pick them so bad. Oh my God, I will tonight, probably. Sunflower is still growing way over my head. 
like way over my head <laughs> like I think I th she is now way over two meters tall I don't think he I don't think you even see how tall she actually is let me let me try <laughs> like it's massive it's massive and it's still not done oh. She's so beautiful. And we have another one over there. And there will be the next one. I'm so excited for these eggplants. You have no idea. <laughs> Full on afternoon lighting. Very flattering. Uh, we made the decision to let one of our zucchinis grow because they have been growing so fast and so massively and they barely had any developed seeds in them. Like none actually. Uh, they they did have like the starts of the seeds, but nothing that you could uh, use actually in the coming year. So we decided, okay, and we know it's early in the season, but we're gonna let one zucchini grow to its full size and only harvest it then so we can save the seeds because these zucchinis have been flourishing this year. So we of course want to plant them again. Apparently they like the climate. So, uh, and it's already so massive and it's growing still every day. Can you see how big this zucchini is? Like that that's my hand. And as I said, I do not have small hands. <laughs> it's fucking massive. By the way, we cut some asaga, uh shard. Yes, that's the word. And it's regrowing. We had no idea this regrows from stem like we had no idea but uh, it looks very it looks very funny uh, so we're gonna have more and we rediscovered a ginger that we planted last year that did not grow at all we moved this entire patch we cleaned this entire patch we didn't saw the ginger anymore we thought it was completely gone and now here all of a sudden it is we're not complaining let's hope this one is giving us a little ginger at the end we also have our second sunflower. Hello there. It is Friday, the 6th of August. So one week before you're going to see this video. And as you can see, I'm not in the garden uh, today. I have not been in the garden that much. There is a lot of weeding to do. <laughs> I'm planning on going up there tomorrow morning. I hope the weather is with me and I hope I can get up early enough to actually go and do some work. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to chime in and show you that I'm not like spending every waking minute in the garden. I would like to. That's not true. I would like to be at the ocean too. But um, yeah, I told you many times before that I've been working a lot. And because today was the announcement day where I announced my, my, my next book, Welcome Home, Dear Soul, which the ebook is available for pre-order. The print will be available upon release date. And uh, I forgot to say in the announcement video that my first book, The Anatomy of Waves, will be on sale until the release of the second book. So from now until the 2nd of September, you can get my first book for cheap and the second one you can pre-order and it's very exciting and I also announced um, that I'm doing a Skillshare class within this month it will be released at some point I'm currently in the process of producing that like I'm in the last stages of designing my my slides my graphics and my scripts and the PDF that <laughs> that I need uh, a Skillshare class looks so easy because I completely underestimated it because it looks like it's just like a YouTube video. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. It's so much more than that. I'm so thankful for the experience. I'm learning so much, but damn, it's so much work. And uh, I hope that next week I can produce it with filming it and editing it. And then I hope within like a week or two, that it might even be live already so maybe maybe if i have probably not but <laughs> if i if i have a date when the skillshare class will be released i will leave it here but very very likely not and i am in a complete hole summer hole with my freelancing work it's like the complete contrary to how busy i've been 
Uh, I barely have any jobs <laughs> because everybody's on vacation and there's just nothing to do. So I'm not earning money, but I'm working like a maniac. So that that's not ideal, but um, I'm working on things that I enjoy. But at the same time, I'm also kind of burned out. So it's, it, it's, it's weird. And the garden is one of the only things that balance me out um, in times like this, because the garden does not demand of me to have a deadline. It does not demand of me to be there. Um, and it doesn't need my creativity, while at the same time it's fueling my creativity. Like, it doesn't take anything away from me, it gives me. I do physical labor there, and of course I need to work it if I want to have a good and, and, and well, healthy garden and pretty garden. But at the same time, gardening gives me so much back. And I think that is something that is so important to me and is one of the aspects why I love gardening so much. Is really that for me, someone who's very creative and does a lot of creative st things and is a freelancer in her creative field that is also her hobby, like writing, <laughs> like... I think you are in danger of running out of creativity really quick. And I talk about this in my Skillshare class, but there are scientific studies that show that being bored makes you more creative. That is why sometimes when you do mundane tasks, for example, weeding, like ripping weeds out of the earth, you can become way more creative. Or for me personally, it just kind of resets my mind a little bit. Um, because I do something that I know is good and that I know is important, that I enjoy, where I don't need to use my mind. <laughs> I just use my body while at the same time, while I'm doing that and while I don't put a lot of mental effort into it, I'm still unlearning old patterns, old beliefs and learning new stuff about the garden, about nature, about surviving, about living, about life, about whatever. And just by doing something as easy as weeding and hand pollinating my zucchinis <laughs> and like checking in on the plants like two or three times a day and sometimes that's just enough and that's basically what i wanted to say i'm gonna insert a clip here and showing you the harvest from this morning we are currently harvesting lemon cucumbers which i like to my surprise because i don't like normal cucumbers the zucchinis are going strong still and yesterday we had our second pumpkin that is way bigger than the first one. I will also insert something here. Um, I'm super happy with the harvest at the moment. I go twice a day and I'm just so happy. It makes me so happy. It's the first thing in the morning that I do and I just love it so much. So I wanted to show you a little bit of our zucchini harvest. This is like a regular sized zucchini that we have been harvesting. They are like about, they're always between 400 and 700 grams more or less. And uh, yeah, that's that's the regular size we have been harvesting. This is a tiny yellow one that is like super beautiful in the marbling. This one, let's put that here out of the picture. This one is the big yellow one that we hope has seeds inside. We left it as long as we could. And tomorrow I'm gonna open it to look for seeds. And now comes the big boy, the big boy. This is one massive zucchini. It has two and a half kilograms and we let it grow so it could have some seeds. So yeah, those, those are some of the zucchinis that we harvested. I think at the moment we are at a total of maybe 14, 15 kilograms of zucchini harvest this year so far. We gave most of them away. Uh, but these ones are for us. These two are for eating now. These ones are for seeds and for freezing them for soup for the winter. So this was Monday morning and unfortunately these are the only clips that I have. We had a pest problem. I think it's called mildew uh, and it is when your plants get moldy and you can prevent it or not prevent it but you can fight it pretty easily 
but we had just been ignoring it because we thought it was maybe just like an Azorian thing and it wouldn't actually affect the plant. There are a lot of diseases in plants that don't actually affect the, the fruits and everything. But this one is one that spreads like a wildfire and we waited too long. So I had to go up there this morning and get rid of two of the yellow zucchinis completely and cut down on all the other zucchinis very, very, very heavily. And yeah, I wanted to show you the end result, even though it looked very sad because it looked like all our zucchinis were gone, even though they're not. I've treated them and I hope they will regrow. Uh, I hope it was enough, but uh, unfortunately my camera died because my lens broke. Uh, so yeah, not the, not the best morning, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, on that note, I unfortunately also don't have an outro for this uh, vlog. Uh, I hope you liked it and I will see you next Friday with a new video. Have a great day.